The electron transport chain is a vital process of all cellular respiration. It occurs within the mitochondria, located in every cell in your body. It essentially occurs between the matrix and intermembrane space across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Pictured here is the process of cellular respiration, by which cells make adenosine triphosphate, the ultimate goal of cellular respiration in an energy production. Essentially it works by pumping hydrogen plus protons against the concentration gradient outside of the inner membrane and filtering them back through ATP synthase to make ATP. Let's take a look at each of the mechanisms involved. Pictured here is complex 1. The pistachios represent NAD or FAD. The orange fruit represents the electron. Notice how the electron moves into complex 1 and then onto ubiquinone, pictured here as the pistachio. This pumps hydrogen molecules up into the inner membrane space. This process oxidizes NAD and reduces ubiquinone. Let's take a closer look at complex 1. It is comprised of both the NADH module on the bottom and the transport module on the top. It oxidizes NADH, moving the electron through its various apparatuses and transferring them to ubiquinone, which will then transport them to complex 3. The functional group in the NADH hydrogenase module is called the flavin mononucleotide, and it functions to oxidize NAD. At this point, you may be asking yourself where complex 2 goes as we skip from complex 1 to complex 3. However, complex 2 is used only in some succinate reactions and will not be covered by this video. Next up is complex 3. Complex 3 is reduced by ubiquinone, a carrier of an electron. The electron then moves into complex 3, again pushing hydrogen plus protons into the inner membrane space. The endpoint of the electrons in complex 3 is cytochrome C, which is reduced by complex 3 and then oscillates between complex 3 and complex 4. In this drawing of complex 3, you can see how ubiquinone first produces complex 3, which in turn reduces cytochrome C. The transfer of electrons through the middle part is what sends the hydrogen plus protons into the inner membrane space. Next we have complex 4, which takes electrons from cytochrome C, moves them inside, pumps in a hydrogen plus proton across the inner membrane, and then reduces oxygen to make H2O. Pictured here, we can see how the highly involved nature of complex 4 lends itself to the terminal reduction of oxygen. Cytochrome C transfers electrons first to bovine, which oxidizes cytochrome C, first with cytochrome A3, which captures high spin electrons, and secondly with cytochrome A, which captures low spin electrons. It then reduces oxygen as the terminal acceptor of those electrons. Finally, let's take a look at ATP synthase. ATP synthase utilizes protons moving across the chemical gradient via chemiosmosis to produce an ATP from an ADP and an inorganic phosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is the necessary energy tool that the cell needs to carry out all processes. Notice how this enzyme turns on the bottom when protons are pumped through it. This is the process by which adenosine diphosphate and an inorganic phosphate are joined together. ATP is even necessary for thinking, so the next time you think about the care taken in designing your electron transport chain, you can smile.